Welcome to the National Electrical and Communications Association and the Fair Work Ombudsman's Electronic Seminar for the Electrical, Electronic and Communications Contracting Industry Award 2010. My name is Oliver Judd, I'm the Employee Relations Manager for NECA and I will also be your Fair Work Liaison Officer. If you have any questions in relation to this video, feel free to contact me on the details that will be provided later on to discuss any of the issues you may have. Please note that this video is supplemented by a guide to the modern award and the National Employment Standards. We recommend that you have a copy available with you during the video to assist you to understand the scenarios that are dealt with. To obtain a copy, simply fill your details into the form on this page and NECA will get a copy to you. This presentation is broken into chapters, each containing an explanation of each of the National Employment Standards, or NES, and an explanation of the more critical provisions of the Electrical, Electronic and Communications Contracting Award 2010. It is important that you understand the obligations outlined in this video as there are significant fines that can be imposed where businesses do not comply. A set of 10 standards known as the National Employment Standards or NES was introduced on 1 January 2010 as part of the implementation of the Fair Work Act 2009. These standards apply to every employee in Australia except non-constitutional employees engaged in Western Australia. This generally means employees of sole traders, partnerships and government and public institutions regardless of their type of employment. This chapter deals with community service leave. An employer who engage in an eligible community service activity is entitled to be absent from work for the time when the employee is engaged in the activity and for reasonable travelling and rest time. The absence must be reasonable in the circumstances. Eligible community service includes the following community service activities. 1. Jury service, including attendance for the purpose of jury selection that is required by or under a law of the Commonwealth or of a state or territory, or 2. A voluntary emergency management activity with a recognised organisation, such as firefighting, civil defence or a rescue body. An employee who requests to be absent from his or her employment to undertake an eligible community service must give notice to the employer as soon as practicable, which may be a time after the absence has started, and must advise the employer of the period or expected period of the absence. The employee is required to provide evidence to his or her employer that would satisfy a reasonable person that the absence relates to the community service proposed to be taken. Employees are not entitled to be paid whilst engaged in community service leave except whilst engaged in jury service. Employees, other than casuals, engaged in jury service leave are entitled to payment for the first 10 days of attending. The employer is required to pay the difference between the payment received by the employee from the court and the amount they would have received had they worked 7.6 ordinary hours each day. Thank you for watching this video. We encourage you to watch all the chapters in this series. If you have any questions, you can contact me on the details that are shown. And if you haven't already obtained a copy of the guide, we strongly recommend that you get one as soon as possible.